<laughs> I kid you not, man. I've heard stories. I've heard some tall tales, but this one, this was a journey. Yeah. Weekend. Got up around 7 o'clock today. Honestly, just kicked it. I didn't even feel like heading to do CrossFit this morning. It's because my body. I think I just need to give it a rest for today. I did my scheduling and I worked out Monday through Friday this entire week. I'm gonna take Saturday as my rest day and then jump back on it Sunday. I feel like that's gonna be a great schedule for me. And I'm throwing in yoga in the mix as well. So I do bodybuilding, CrossFit, and yoga just to stay flexible, mobile, and just have all those pieces together. I found that's when I'm feeling the best in my body. So I did all that, did my meditation, did my reading this morning. Blowing through that Abundance Now book, I'm about 50% through it, and it's gonna be, finish, be finishing up here probably, I would say by Monday or Tuesday of this week. Um, but I still have to take all the notes that I've written about that and things that I've bookmarked and just do a note card system on that so I can just reference back the material and just dive through it a little bit further. But other than that, man, just being on the computer you're working today same old thing and tonight we're gonna link up with Josh Mashung he's the cat that you guys saw in the vlogs last year here at McDowell Mountain with my man Josh the man right there taking me on some trails today gonna do some shredding <laughs> when him and I went mountain biking out there in Sedona what's it called not Fountain Hills area but maybe it's Fountain Hills I think of the location but somewhere outside of the Phoenix metro area I should say real cool cat man so we'll link up with him tonight head downtown to Phoenix just to chop it up for a few and other than that man just keep the day rolling from here time is cooking today I had to re-export that video and I still have to do the uploading on that and we're gonna be linking up like I said earlier with Josh tonight um, but from there man the day's just clicking by pretty quickly. Smooth and steady, everything's calm. I bought a lot of books today. There's a huge reading list that I'm going through and I bought about 15 books total. The ones I bought were on Audible, audible.com, the audio version of the book. And there's one Kindle version that I bought which is Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. I have all of his books and he just released it, I think, a day or so ago. Um, so I definitely support him. He's a solid entrepreneur uh, with a great message. So I'm going to check that book out and the other books on Audible as well. It's fun to just dive through different content, both reading it and I have my kin I have a Kindle and just uh, the audio versions as well are, are nice to listen to when you're doing what you're doing, either working or chilling at night or doing what you've got to do. So that's how I consume most of my, my book content or my reading content. And like I said, we'll start that book club up this month on books to read and we'll just dive through and see if that's something that would add value to the community. Heading to meet up with Josh right now. And in the background I have that UFC fight night going on. Durr's brother, Eric Anders, is fighting tonight on the main card. He's the headliner. He's fighting Lyoto Mashida in Brazil. So you already know who I have my money on. Eric Anders, the homie. He was on our podcast, I think what, last year or the year prior before that? Either way, I'm rooting for that cat. Durr's is out there, so it'll be fun to check out. But if they have it on at that, Marley's is where I'm heading in downtown Phoenix. I'll watch it there, but if not, I'll just catch up. Um, when I get back home. Just got to Josh's crib on now. Gonna walk over to his, well, it's gonna take an Uber to downtown. It's a lot faster than driving out there. You don't have to worry about the parking, the traffic and all that good stuff. You can just almost run into the bush, kick it, relax, and you know, just chop it up and do what you have to do without all the fuss that's happening. It's a beautiful night tonight. You have perfect weather. I can't believe how much it's heated up out here. Right now it's just like, cool temperature, nice little breeze happening. But it's already springtime, baby, I can't. I can't complain, man, AZ has everything. When it comes to the weather, you don't have to worry about, you know, like I talked about, I lived in Philly for that year. The drastic cold in the winter months, crazy. Here, you never really have that. You have maybe a month or two at most like that. Other than that, it's just pure beautiful. Here we are now, let's go inside. I think it is too. We just finished up eating at Marley's, my man Josh. It's been a while since you guys seen him on the vlog, huh? <laughs> How long has it been? Since the last time I cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Marley's, had those gorilla wings is what they're called. And they're called gorilla wings because the mascot for the Phoenix Suns is that gorilla. Probably the best wings I've had in this entire city. I haven't found a place that can beat them yet. But we're just chilling on the corner waiting for this Uber on Van Buren. We took up a little stroll up the street. It's getting cold out here. So I started, dude, before I started this vlog, or when I went to your house today, I was like, the weather's so beautiful out here. We only get two weeks of da-da-da in Arizona, 
and now I just like have to eat my words. Well, dude, even I was thinking like oh, I should probably bring a sweater. The nights have been getting a little yeah. cold, but I remember thinking, nah, you know, yeah. it's just so warm right now. Probably won't be an issue. And it's an issue. Yeah, <laughs> got cold, dude. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, thank you. Have a great night. Went over to that Marley's restaurant in downtown Phoenix. It was a good spot, man. Those wings are top notch. My favorite by far. And then the Uber ride home was funny, man. We had this this driver and he had the grandest story in the world. <laughs> I kid you not, man. I've heard stories. I've heard some tall tales, but this one, this was a journey. Supposedly uh, a Bitcoin trillionaire. He bought Bitcoin with a seven cent, sold it in November. Retired doctor, uh, philanthropist, all the works. I mean, it's deep. I mean, I. I would have to have a sit down talk on the vlog with you on that one, but that was, it was such a good story because it was a way to like end the night with a, a light, fun atmosphere. So it's just, it's just funny. It's just like those Uber rides, man, you meet so many fun, cool people. And that was just sort of like, uh, I think just a funny thing that happened. That was, <laughs> it made me laugh. Let's head back to the crib. That was a fast drive, really quick. The roads are quiet tonight and I was surprised. Phoenix downtown was not even packed at all. It was very quiet over there. I was expecting a lot more activity, but it wasn't. So it was a really chill night overall. I think I'm gonna end up calling it. It's 12, 12 at night right now. Gonna get up tomorrow early and get after it. And then we're gonna check out the Super Bowl. But I appreciate all the support and love guys. Much love. Hope you guys had a great Saturday. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to like, comment, and share. And as always, never forget, it's never too late to create your own destiny. Much love, peace. Oh, damn, but don't worry, I'm gonna make the snow melt. The prize will be peace like a Nobel. I'ma be on covers with one hand on my balls like I'm Odell. I never let nobody... You have perfect weather. Man, these lights are a little bit blind to me. You have the perfect weather outside tonight too, man.